The year is 2021. You're looking at mountain bikes and you've come to the decision, do I get a 2020 or the 2021? In this video, I'm going to go over these bikes and show you what's the difference, what changed, what components are new for the 2021 Scout over the 2020. So last year we finally got some mountain bikes after waiting all summer long. Demand for the bikes that year was pretty high and it still is pretty high. Still hard to find a mountain bike out there in stock. We had to know what we wanted before we got them so we could get them as soon as they were in stock. Both of these bikes are large frames. These are the Nuke Proof Scout 275. That means they are 27 and a half inch tire size on these bikes. These are not the 29 inch bikes. At the time we purchased these bikes, these were both the same price at $1,100, but there are a few notable differences. Most notable are the frame decals. Up here on the top of the 2021, you can see we have some new decaling up there. We also have these designs here on the handlebars. The seat is looking a little different, as well as the front fork is now blacked out as before it was white stickers on the 2020. Tires change to the Maxxis Asagai up front and in the rear the Dyes Sector for the 2021. On the 20 you get the Minions, DHF and DHR on the rear. Another change is the crank set, Shimano M5100 Dior, 32 teeth, 170mm on the 2021 versus the SR Centaur Zeron on the 20. The shifter changes from a Shimano M6000 to a Shimano M4100R. We also have the derailleur. It is a Shimano M6000 versus the Shimano M5120. The brakes on the 2020 are Shimano MT400. And on the 2021, they are the Shimano MT4100. On the 2021, we have black brake levers. And on the 2020, it is these nice gunmetal gray levers. And now on the 2021, they upgraded the hub to a Neutron 36 point. Down here on the seat post on the 2020, we have this quick adjust lever. And on the 2021, they left us here with an Allen wrench to adjust the seat. So you have to pull out the Allen wrench, pull out your little multi-tool, and adjust your seat that way. So if you're going to get one of these 2021s, a dropper seat post is probably going to replace that there to make life a lot easier and nicer down the trail. On the 2020, we have this shiny design here on it. A little more detail to it. It also says new proof right here in the back of the seat. And it is... A decently comfortable seat. On the 2021 they changed over to a new design. Pretty much the same style of seat. It's a little thinner up in the front. Still says Nuke Proof. Also says Neutron here on the side and it's got their little warhead symbol there in the back. Another change for the 2021 is the handlebars now have these Nuke Proof Neutron decals on them. They are still the same handlebar, just new decals. Grips are the same. So the fork up in the front now has blacked out stickers, which is one thing my brother likes. He likes the blacked out stickers over the white stickers, but that's personal preference. These are both the same shock. They both have 140 travel. They are both the Rock Shock Recon RL. So that's about it for this video, shaking down the comparison between the two bikes here from a 2020 to a 2021. Hope that answers some of your questions, gives you a look at what's the difference between the two. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss another adventure on the bikes, the ATVs, and other off-road vehicles. And I'll see you in the next video.